everyone and welcome to my Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create some very nice visual effects using my callouts template in Adobe After Effects. Alright, so what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is how to do some 3D camera tracking in After Effects and how to achieve this specific visual effects using my callouts template. So let's get started awesome people and by the way, this is not limited. By using this tutorial, you can create some different shots like this and you can see how everything has been tracked into place and the animation on the color template just looks really good with the whole visual effect. Or if you don't have any aerial shots, you can use your own footage and achieve something like an Iron Man effect, which is like this. So uh, let's get started awesome people. So I already created another, uh, another composition and I've added my video file to it and what I have done awesome people is I went to my FX and presets type in 3D camera tracker and applied this video effect onto the footage and you just have to basically wait for 5 minutes it's gonna just analyze the whole shot and then give you all these different points you can see all this now to anyone who's new to 3D camera tracking and after effects this is basically like using your tracker but instead of you manually deciding which track points to use, Adobe After Effects is going to give you all these different options where you could track. But uh, a lot of times we'll get confused as to which shot to pick or which tracking point to pick since there are so many different shots. Um, a general rule of thumb awesome people is to just basically decide where you want to track your element. It can be another visual effect element completely or if you're trying uh, this tutorial with me, you have your own footage and you have your templates uh, just generally decide where exactly you want your template to be so for example in this case i want my template to be somewhere around this much part like for example if i should draw this i want my template to be in this much part of the city so i'm going to look at that much part and basically you have to look for a track point that is going to be there from the first frame till the last frame so it's going to be throughout the video if you find a track point that's a perfect track point take that and work with it so for example if i want to attach my visual element say on top of this building right here again i'm gonna look for a track point that stays throughout the video so for example this green one right here you know i know because i already made the um, tutorial before and it didn't go so well so i already know that this point is perfect for me so i'm gonna do a right click and i'm gonna take this option create solid and camera and the reason i'm taking this option over create a null and camera is because you get a visual presentation or a re visual representation as to like if the thing has been tracked into the shot properly or no so for example if you say selected something okay and you do null and camera you're gonna get a transparent two dish kind of box and it's gonna stay there instead you can use this option and you're gonna see that okay this solid is staying there perfectly and you get an idea if it has been properly tracked or no so i always go for track solid option and uh you know this camera is gonna you know work superb for either of those so you can you know if you want to take null then you can take null okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rename this i'm gonna call this main underscore one and then awesome people what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my template I'm gonna open this and you're gonna find all sorts of typos check it out really cool super uh, I'm gonna open top right and I'm gonna go to main one this is the main one with the top right angle so I'm gonna open this and you're gonna see awesome people that the whole template has been pre animated so meaning you don't have to do any sort of animation and this is great for some special video that you're making if you're entering into a competition if you're making uh, some sort of short film or you're just practicing motion graphics this is a great way of learning something and just seeing how was this made or using into your own short film so again the whole animation has been done and you can just go into the, over here replace your footage and it's gonna get updated right here all right so i'm gonna go to my composition i'm gonna drag this main one bring it here and if i play this you can see also people that we did bring in uh, our template but it's not tracked in properly so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this into a 3d layer and you see that okay we have tracked it into the shot but still awesome people, the position on which it's basic, the default track is, is not right at all. If you, from over here you can see, it's still in the air. So what you have to do now is you're supposed to match the position of this with the solid that we just made. So, I'm going to close this first. Uh, I'm going to click on main solid. I'm going to hit the P key. Now you have two options. You can either manually just copy all of this to this position, to your graphics position. Or you can use a very simple expression just all click on the stopwatch of your graphic 
and attach it to the solid track data. And you can see how everything just jumps and it just manually, oh, I mean, automatically gets updated. Now, if I was to play this, you can see it has been perfectly tracked. So all I have to do now is I'm supposed to remove the eyeball from my solid and there you go. I have got a perfect tracked in shot. Now, again, as so awesome people, uh, you know, the whole thing has been animated and this is really, really great and easy to use. Now, if you want to add multiple track points, what you're supposed to do is again go to your video file go to 3d camera tracker again look for a place uh, or look for a tracking point uh, which stays throughout the video so for i know that these guys right here these three they're going to be there they're really good tracking points but so this time if i do a right click you're going to see that we only get creating options we don't get create and camera because we already have made a camera sometimes you will get confused so no worries awesome people we already have a camera in the shot that's why it's not asking us for the camera option so create solid and you get and you're gonna get this now the main reason why i renamed my solid is because the other solid that comes into the shot you know it too has track solid one so if you're using expressions and you didn't rename the solid your expressions is gonna get all messed up it's also it's automatically gonna get attached to this one so again i'm gonna rename this to main 05 because this oops because this time I want to bring in main 05 again I already have practiced this so I know what I'm doing but uh, you know this can be a little bit of uh, you know a trial and error for you guys if you're doing this on your shot so I'm gonna bring this main 5 into the shot and again same problem it is not tracked in so we're gonna make this 3d now it is tracked in but the original position is not right so we just have to copy the main 5's position the solids position to our graphic so again, we can do this manually, we can you know, just copy paste all of this or you can use an expression which is actually much quicker. Let's do this and boom, you can see, it gets perfectly tracked in. Now, awesome people, this is how I was able to create uh, my example shot over here. Of course, I did some color correction and what I have done to get this little bit of glossy emboss effect is I've added drop shadow to the mix and just add drop shadow to the template and you're going to get that same effect. Now creating this thing was exactly the same way again just added some tracking uh, I added curves of course for color correction but 3d camera tracker again I got so many points I picked up one of them created my solid points and everything was just the way I showed you so you can see how even when the shot is like you know a little bit of the CG or the or, or the graphic goes out it kind of adds to the effect and awesome people the good thing is that everything is 3d camera track so you can see over here in this example even when the call out just kind of goes outside the shot it just adds this really nice uh, realistic effect so i think this is a great way of uh, creating some very nice iron man avengers sort of visual effect for your short films and uh if you want to talk about this shot which i made the iron man the you know the uh, the, the man with hood elements uh this was done a little bit differently what i've done is I have used the tracker the old school tracker option because my 3d camera tracker was for some reason not working if I was to do this you can see that I get all my tracking points on the bicycle uh, but I don't get anything on the eye and I I think was a great tracking point so I manually just went to the tracker I said track motion I manually manually as in I just set up the point nothing else I, I didn't have to manually fix the points the points were tracked in perfectly I just selected this, adjusted my box like that, and that's it. I just played this, the whole thing was tracked. And what I did was I attached the track layer by clicking apply to a null object that I was that I had uh, X and Y. And then also people, what I did again was I just had to copy the position data of this to my graphic file. So instead of copying everything manually or you know working with keyframes. I just use expression I just alt clicked it attach it to that and boom I have this really nice graphic done again same thing with the flare you know position has been tracked in using expressions so this is how I was able to use my template uh, for creating some very nice Iron Man Avenger sort of visual effects and uh, you can do the same thing the shots were taken from videoblogs.com a great stock footage website to check out 
And awesome people, I just want to say one thing. If you want a detailed camera tutorial, 3D camera tracker tutorial in Adobe After Effects, I am really excited to make that. I'm still not sure if I should make it or no because that is going to be very, very lengthy. But I promise you, you're going to learn a lot of things. Uh, this is going to be great for anyone who is trying to make a career in Adobe After Effects. This is going to be great. So if you want to, if you want me to make a 3D camera tracker tutorial, um, just leave a comment below and even for one guy i would be more than happy to make the tutorial so thank you so much for watching this tutorial my name is dj style you guys take care and i will see you all next time